Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to another podcast. Today, we're joined with Raphael from Magnetar. How's it going, Raphael? Oh, I'm great. And you? How are you? Very good. So we got some exciting uh, topics to talk about with the brand new player, the brand new flagship player for Magnetar. Uh, could you explain yes. who Magnetar is? And they just seemingly came out of nowhere. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, it's actually it's um it's kind of a new company. Uh, you know, we've um, we've met them. You know, um, only a few months ago. Uh, you know, it was last year in two thousand and twenty-two. Uh, but we, as the start, when we see the you know the quality of the products, uh, uh, what they intended to do with uh, w- with their players, you know, because it's now it's. Uh, it, it's a first player, but there, there are many things going on with Magnetar in the coming months, uh, both in audio and, and video. I will explain to, to you later. Uh, but mm-hmm. yes, we were very amazed by their experience and their professionalism. So we wanted to, to work with them instantly. So it's uh, and now, you know, a few months later, it's, uh, you know, the players are here. And, uh, you know, we are very, very happy about it. Yeah, because I remember I had saw the uh, the announcement months ago. And, you know, I think some of us weren't sure if this was just like another cheap kind of like a little Oppo clone or whatever. Because um, there's yeah. some like three, four hundred dollar players that are like that. But then uh, I'm glad you guys took hold of it because now I know it's like a legit real thing. It's a high quality player, too. It's pretty heavy. Can you explain where that extra weight comes from? Oh, it's always, you know, like like Raven. In fact, it's uh, you know, the the structures needs to be uh, tight, you know, and uh, rigid enough not to avoid any any problems with the audio and uh, and video playback. So basically, it's very important, uh, you know, to to have a very rigid uh, chassis. In fact, uh, and that's the base. And then we we have to to have a, a nice. Uh, a, great build um, optical quality drive of course and uh, we we've put some extra efforts on, on this part because you know uh, we had some troubles at, at first with uh, with um, our other brands with uh, with um, Raven uh, with uh, some problems with the the optical drives and we we try yeah. you know to to make it uh, good at start you know uh, this time and of course raven will benefit from it because everything that we do at magnetars will benefit eventually uh, every customers uh, at uh, raven uh, in the future you know uh, with the progress we we do with the um, the graphic designs etc we will make some improvements too with the the raven players so are they kind of from the same company or What's the relationship no, no, between but the two? We, you know, we, we work, you know, the, the team that is working at Magnetars will help us too with Raven. Okay. It's oh, really gotcha. two okay. different brands, but they will help us, you know, to, um, to make uh, the Raven products even better. So it's uh, it will be a win-win uh, collaboration between the two brands. Right, right, right. Can you, um, can you explain the, uh, cause I had updated the, the post, the video with the $99 option. Because when I reviewed it, I wasn't, you know, I didn't know when I did the review that I was playing back ISOs and and folder playback. Does that, what exactly does the $99 option uh, include? Yeah, uh, in fact, we uh, we didn't know it was even possible. Just before I, I ship you the, the players, in fact, uh, for you to, to review, uh, we had um, a last, um, last minute firmware. So I, I've put it in, you know, and... Uh, in fact, this new firmware is uh, allows you to um, to play ISO uh, ISO files, uh, you know, and to have a multi-region uh, function capabilities on the, on Magneto players. So it's it's pretty cool. Uh, it's not that expensive. It's not mandatory, you know. If you just want to use your player to play, you know, some files MKV, uh, DSD, uh, FLAC files, it will work no matter what. But if you want an extra uh, you know, capabilities, yes, you can have it with a not so expensive options, which is, uh, I think, it, which is good. Yeah, because I don't think the Revon plays back ISO. Well, I know it doesn't play back ISOs unless you guys updated it since I reviewed it, but no, no, no. no. Or uh, it, it, it will not be possible for, for Revon, uh, only with Magnetar, it is possible. 
yeah. But right, so uh, where where multi region uh, with a, with a code, uh, okay. So you, you okay. didn't have to pay for that. But I know you know, especially in America, not everyone needs to have a multi region capability. So you know, only those who who really need it uh, can can have it. Okay, it's uh, yeah, it's not mandatory. Right. So here's a question. Is there, I already know the answer to this. Um, is there any onboard tone mapping? And if so, dynamic or uh, yeah. static, which I think only the Panasonic had invented their yes. own, which yes, was for, to, for the JVC players or projectors. But yeah, but besides the know, Panasonic, there's been really no, no, no other player that would ever, ever do dynamic tone mapping. There's no video source no. except for that one specific player or those the those players from Panasonic they do tone mapping so that's not really exactly. a thing that's ever been a thing yeah no it was it was interesting at first you know when all the projectors didn't have these kind of features but now you know yeah. as every you know Sony JVC whatever you know it they are doing their own uh, you know tone yeah. mapping anyway so you know it's not really necessary for me you know we just want to output the best video signal and audio signal and then you know your display or your receiver uh, is going to to add uh, the the specialties uh, into into the signals you know but uh, i don't think it's really it, it's really something we, we need to focus on now yeah because most of the most displays will do it themselves it's just yes. that with every every tv yeah. can do it for for a long yeah. time and the projector you know the all the new lines from the the biggest players uh, you know the biggest brands like sony and jvc it's already yeah. embedded in in the in the display so yeah so it's, uh, i'm not uh, sure how many people at least with current sony's and jvc i don't know how many people actually use that feature anymore because i haven't used it since it came yeah. out since i got the J, new jvc yeah yeah it was with jvc it was uh, it was really interesting you know because uh, they were the first yeah. to do to do that and uh, uh oppo didn't do that we had a clean signal uh with, with the oppo, oppo uh, players but not not this kind of uh, precision uh, with the uh, with HDR, but now yes, it's not no yeah. longer a, a needed feature. So I think. So you know, back to the whole ninety nine dollar thing. I know that. So that's for multi region in ISO playback. What about yes. folder four K folder playback? Is that included in the ISO, or is that already just? Uh, no, it's um, um, yes. Uh, I think. Uh, uh, I'm a bit confused. I didn't check uh, with the BDM folders. Uh, I will try to, to come back to you. I will not uh, want to tell um, anything uh, that is not true. Uh, I think it was really for the ISO, but I, I will we will maybe edit a comment uh, underneath uh, your, your video. And uh, yes, we, we are going yeah. to tell if it's included or, or not. Um, I'm sorry. I didn't think of uh, testing the, the BDMB folders uh, before. Yes. And, and I like uh, the... Um... Yeah. Yeah, I like the ISO playback because uh, the menus work, you know, just like a regular Blu-ray. Something that really I know the Zip I know the Zipedes do it, but there's a little bit of jank still in that. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes the backgrounds mm -hmm. don't show up. But this works really. It works like a regular Blu-ray on the on the Magnetar. Yes, with Magnetar, with, with the PD too, you know, with the next, uh, the new generation, uh, you know, the Neo, the reference and the signatures. Yep. We have achieved, you know, almost ninety nine percent of uh, of capability, and uh, yeah. it's um, you, you know it's uh, now it's it's working good. But you know this is a real Blu Ray player, and you will have the real experience with Mag Magnetar and uh, and uh, and the ISO playback. Yeah. It's really really fast. What surprised me that it's you know you you push it, it works right away. Mm -hmm. So it's. Uh, it's yeah, really yeah, cool. yeah, just like a disc. And, um, you know, just for the folks that know that Dolby Vision does work on like MKVs and MP4s, and like you can stream that through the net through your network if you wanted to. Yes, I'm not exactly. sure, I'm not sure from, I said from that. From NAS, yeah. from, from your PC, uh, you know, uh, it will work. Um, you know, I've got someone that uh, is warning me that the BDMB folders is working. Okay, so it's oh, okay. Uh, oh, somebody has it. Yeah, okay. Yes, <laughs> yes. So it's a, it's a fact. <laughs> and so here's a question. So, well, not a question, but somebody had asked, why is there no HDMI 2.1? I already know the answer, but go ahead. I'll let you say it. 
Yes, because it's not, you know, we, we yeah. don't really need for now, you know, the 2.1. Um, it's uh, only for the gaming, you know, for, for, for the gaming yeah. console that we need it for extra, you know, 120 hertz on the, yeah. uh, on the, on the video, you know, for, for, the, for the Blu-ray, the, the UHD Blu-ray, we've got 60, 60p maximum and the, the 2.0 is working perfectly uh, with that. So for now, uh, as long as we do not have do not have 8K content, there is no point in having 2.1. And you know, you know, yeah. from a fact, I've been many installations in my previous jobs, and you know, always new generation is always always brings some troubles. You know, with the different display, the compatibilities, etc. So now 2.0, yep. you know, is very stable. So we, we prefer to stay in, in 2.0 and wait and see. You know what what's coming. You know, in the in the future. You know, maybe uh, with 4K 3D, etc. We will need 2.1. But for now, it's uh, yeah, it's just a dream. <laughs> it's still a dream. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, because you know, there's no AK foot, no AK discs or content no. to play back on no, the no. player. So there's really 8K no. 8K no really is for, you know, it's for the planetarium. You know, it's uh, for the sports in Japan. It's for planetarium because, you know, the, the, the the display the, the screen is so so close to you uh so we need extra you know a resolution yeah but for you know for movies you know in uh, in all our best commercial cinemas you've got you know 4k is more than enough for now yeah. so it's uh, i don't think it really matters i've got just yeah, something I, I, that have uh, been um uh, brought up to me it's the the mkv um Dolby Vision will not work uh, with the the network okay only ISO you can oh, yes, have okay. uh, you can stream uh, Dolby Vision only with ISO not MKV so it's it's important oh, okay. to uh, okay but local playback it'll do Dolby Vision and uh, no not not in USB uh, neither it's uh, it will oh, do okay. MKV HDR but not Dolby Vision only only ISO will take uh, Dolby Vision Right. Okay. All right. So now we know that. Yeah. I don't even know if I had any MKVs in the video. I think all mine were folders. I think I made. I think I had yeah. some trailers that, but those were not MKV though. Um, here's a question from a channel member. If you guys are interested in joining my YouTube channel membership, you can join for as little as a dollar a month. Devin is a YouTube uh, member. He wants to know Magnetar is it multi-region, and that is included in the ninety-nine dollar optional fee. Exactly. So and that's a big thing. I don't, yeah. Like if you were to sell one of these players, yeah, if you sell one of these players outside of the U.S., is it coded for that particular region? Am I correct? Yes. Every, yeah. you know, Magnetar in Europe is region B. Magnetar is yeah. in U.S. is region A. And uh, yes, we've, we've also got region C in Asia. Uh, but uh, yes, it will be locked in the, the, the country region of the of the, the the states of the the country yeah so so for you guys that pick up one of these players and you want to buy us discs then you would uh get the 999 dollar upgrade so you can you know play multi-region discs exactly um so, what, as you know you know it's not for uhd disc you know there there are no regions in the yeah. it's only for dvd and, uh, like and blu-rays and so blu -rays. So uhg you don't you don't need it and is there Samba 1.1 compatibility? Uh, somebody, yes. somebody had mentioned they had an issue doing using. Yeah, yes, it's it's SMB and it's SMB one. I guess there is SMB two um, two because now you know as it is a, a latest uh, chip. I think we are compatible with SMB two, but SMB one definitely. Okay, because I, I've made some tests with an old Synology and it's it's working fine with the SMB1. What about NFS Manager for Mac file playback as well? Do you know if that's mm, compatible? That that I need to uh, you know to, yeah. to, to let you know I, I, I didn't test it. Yes. Yeah, I don't, I don't I've never heard of that. I'm so not a Mac user, so I need to, <laughs> to 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 need some help from uh, from some friends too. To tell you if it's working but i will write it down and uh, and let uh, your community community knows okay 
And um, Zoom on 4K Blu-ray playback. I think I, I had only got it to work on file playback, but I don't think I was able to get it to work on actual Blu-ray playback. The Zoom feature. No. So if I wanted to zoom in. No? No. no Is that something? It, it, it won't work. Yeah. Is that something yeah, that could be uh, incorporated in the future? Or? Maybe if, if it's a uh, features that, uh, you know, people want, you know, I can always try, you know, to implement it. Uh, via uh, an update, you know, if it's interesting, I will, I will write it down and uh, let you know if I it's think, interesting. Yeah. If I'm not mistaken, I think the 203 did it because I remember being able to plug in like an Apple TV into the Oppo. And then yeah. with the, because that's my screen is scope, I think the Oppo was able to stretch what anything that I plugged into it. If I'm not mistaken, I could be, because I think I made a separate video for that. Yes, so I think that's why you, that question was answered. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Only, only the Oppo uh, could do that with the HDMI input. You know that lets uh, everything. Uh, it was like a path through, in fact, yeah. with the Oppo. Yeah. We, yes, we don't have. We do not have such uh, features. Will this uh, be available in South America, especially Chile? Uh, I need to find a, a partner over there. Uh, so yes, I, I need to work on, on it. And uh, for now, I'm pretty sure they can, you know, uh, we can ship it uh, to, to Chile right now. But we, we need to have someone, you know, in South America. Uh, eventually. Yeah, like so, a dealer. Yeah. Yeah. And we work on um, <clears throat> do all the models admit external subtitles? Cheers. Uh, uh, th there is only one model for now, and uh, yes, it works, but uh, external subtitles, I, I must remind all the, the listeners that it's not uh, the best media players available yeah. on the market. You know, if you want a, a great media player, you can go uh, with Zupili, for instance. You, know, you, can, you can have everything. So uh, external uh, subtitles will work, but depending you know, on the coding, on the... It may not work, okay. But I've made some some uh, some tests, and uh, yes, the external you know that I downloaded worked on the unit. But uh, you know, I can guarantee that a, any kind of external subtitles will work. We have to be cautious. Yeah, about this. yeah. So it's more like a it's a 4K Blu-ray player first with extended functionality of media playback. Yeah. Exactly. And if you, you stay with the ISO files, you know, you, you will have everything. You know, if you want to, to use it like a real uh, media player's, uh, you know, device, uh, mm. it may be as not good as a, a real media player's. Okay. So, yeah. yeah. But I think um, we, we raised the bar, you know, for the, oh, yeah, the sure. playback of the files with this one. It's, uh, it's one of the best I've, I've played with. Uh, for the for the playback of files yeah definitely worked better than the the oppo from what i recall yeah what kind of dax does the player use for analog do you know uh it's um the burr brown uh it's the pcm uh, 1795 so you've got one for the left channel and one for the right channel uh it's only stereo but it works good you know uh, i've tested with all my flag files and my dsd files uh it's it's really really impressive okay but only in two channels compared to the uh, you know we've got the raven x200 that has a 7.1 uh, dac mm -hmm. magnetar for now has only a two uh, a stereo uh, output well, I guess that's a good little segue into what's coming out soon. I think the pictures are all over the internet already. There's a yeah. better or a bigger player, so to speak, yes. um, over the 200, which or the 800, which is the 900. Yes, the nine, the the, the beast, <laughs> like we 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 call call him. You, we will um, unveil it at uh, the next uh, Munich uh, iFi Iron <clears throat> Show. Uh, so it will be in May. And mm. uh, I'm pretty sure I will be back on your channel to, uh, yeah. to present it. Uh, but you know, it's uh, it's a really big player with 7.1, uh, you know, DAC. Uh, it will have the, the most amazing components inside. Uh, I don't think even the big pioneer, you know, Blu-ray players. Yeah. Uh, I think we we are above that. So we will have one. Uh, 
one of the killer uh, device uh, in May. Okay. So that's going to be more audio focused, right? Yes. Uh, yes. And also the video because the power supply will be even better than we have uh, with this range. Mm. So yes, we will have a next level player uh, that has, you know, it will be much higher end than the Oppo 205, for instance. Yeah. So, so I guess that answers Mike's question. <laughs> yes, exactly. I cannot... Uh, you know, tell them uh, much about that, but yes, it will be a, a better <clears throat> power supply on the U UDP 900. Uh, so, gentlemen, what's that? Why do you need analog outputs when everything's all digital now? Yeah, 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 <laughs> you're right. You know, it, it yeah. depends. You, know, you have always got customers with high end stereo components mm -hmm. and uh, you know they've got only uh, most of them have analog inputs you know and uh, we have to satisfy these these customers because you know digital is good that's uh, i'm you know i'm, I'm living in a, in a digital world but analog you know especially for music has uh, a certain advantage uh, i would say especially for music okay. yeah so some people think uh, analog is cleaner. It's, um, you know, the, the sound is different. Uh, the yeah. sound is more uh, colorful, more, it's warmer, you know, it's a, it's a different experience. Uh, yeah. You know, you, you have to test it. And uh, whether you like it or not, you know, it's definitely interesting to, uh, to, to have both solutions. And uh, it's, it's pretty, it's quiet. It's a quiet player too. I don't think I did a, you know, it's hard to show it on a video, but it's it's a quiet player. Like, it's as yes. quiet as the Panasonic or the Revon that I've got. So that's not really a big yes, deal. Yes, we, yeah. you know, we've, mm -hmm. the, we've got some experience now with uh, distributing some Blu-ray players, you know, for years. And, uh, yes, we noticed that, uh, you know, silence was, uh, was very important for our customers. So everything, yeah, you know, was thought to to have the best result with uh, you know the less um, problems with the the reading of the disc so it's very quiet it's very fast you know uh, as soon as you uh, you turn it on you know you can access it. Yeah. so the, the remote works you know uh, one of the faster remote i've ever played with on the on the blu-rays uh, player that i have i have had so it's a uh, it's really a nice experience to to get to the physical discs once again and to have a, a yep. solid and uh, and great player. Mm -hmm. And um, so, what kind of warranty comes with it for the people that are worried about it being a new player that there's been like no history on it and then what's like support going to be like? Uh, pick it's, up uh, it, it will be a two years war warranty, you know, in the US. Uh, we have, um, you know, we have a new warehouse in the, in Florida, and uh, we definitely have, you know, uh, people working uh, for for Magnetar and Raven. You know, it will be the same uh, the same guys that will take care of both uh, uh, both players. And uh, yes, the, you know, we we here to to last. You know, we are not here to just launch a new a new player and not to follow it. But uh, you will see many many. Uh, you know, new features and new device from Magnetar in the months to come, okay? In the audio part and in the video part, okay? So it's, uh, yeah. it will be interesting to follow, uh, to follow us. And uh, I will keep you posted, of course, of uh, every news that I will have to share. And when do you think the comparisons with Oppo will die since Oppo has been dead for like five to six years or <laughs> maybe <laughs> yes, longer now? <laughs> I know, you know, I can't, I can't say anything, but you know, it's, it's still good. If we are uh, compare with Oppo, you know, it make me pride, you know, because uh, you know, if people like our products uh, and they want to, to change from their Oppo, I will be, uh, you know, very glad. Uh, Oppo for me was very important. You know, we were the distributors in in France and uh, in most part yeah. of the Europe. So, you know, I was always a fan of, of this brand, but uh, with Magnetar, I think, uh, yes, we, we finally move from, you know, the reference and I hope Magnetar will become the, the, the headstone, you know, and in the, the Blu-ray Blu players.
Now, I know some people are kind of uh, upset about the price of the players, either the Revon or the Magnetar. But if you check on the, you know, like I said, Oppo's been dead for years now. Uh, when that first launched, it was 550 bucks, which was, you know, if you're thinking about it in today's price, yeah, fantastic deal. But if you were to buy one of those players now after market secondhand mm -hmm. used, they're at the same price as these players are now. Yeah. So, I mean, I think because all you guys out there that are so diehard into Oppo, all those resellers have jacked them up so high that price has kind of dictated where these new players are at. So if you guys never bought those used players, these these players will probably be five hundred dollars still. But I think yeah. that's why these these players are paid or are priced so high because people are willing to pay that for that Oppo you know feature set and playback uh, quality. So yeah, I think that's why. Yeah. But but I think we can change that, uh, you know, with Magnetor really because you know the the quality is there, you know it's fast, it's reliable, uh, it can play everything. We've got the Dolby Vision HDR10 plus. We have everything people uh, can expect, and we can yeah. even afford more, you know, with the ISO playback capabilities, uh, all the DSD over the network. You know, it's a it's a really true universal player. So. I think you know. Uh, I hope that people uh, will uh, will be able to test it to, uh, and I hope they will love it. And there's still support going on. Oppos are no longer yes. being supported. Yeah, so yeah. that's that's also a positive yeah. as well. And uh, there will be some, you know, some news, some updates. Uh, we are going to work on that, and uh, you, you know us. You know, we, we listen to people at ZPD at Raven. So when something is not good enough you know we, we we like to learn from our mistakes and try to make it even better so uh, yes it's it's very important and once again for the raven users you know all the the improvement we, we will make with magneta will benefit for uh, for the the raven users too so it's uh, mm -hmm. it's very important for us will there be a lower cost digital only model I, I guess that would just be like Zipidi. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it just be like exactly. <laughs> so, yes, uh, you've got, uh, I guess, uh, less than $1,000 for Zipidi. I guess that's the, the player that uh, that you need. But uh, no, for Magnetar, it will be the entry level players, and we will go, you know, uh, with a bigger one in the months to come. So, no, yeah. no lower end uh, Magnetar Blu ray players. That, that's for sure. If you want a lower price, you can go with Raven. You know, we've got some interesting model under under one thousand dollars, and they can play many uh, many things. You know, uh, so yeah. you will be happy uh, with, with them, I'm sure. Um, this guy says Sony players are much cheaper, but then again, Sony's not a universal player, yeah. and plus the Dolby Vision they, they sucks on Sony all. players. <laughs> Yeah. Yes, and if it's just, if especially if you just want to to play a UHD player, of course you know mm. Sony will do the job, but uh, again it will be a plastic player. You know it's it's not yeah. the same. We are not in the same league uh, with Magnetar. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So that's that's a Sony's a very basic player. You must just get a LG or Sony if you just want disc playback. Although, yes. would there be an option to have a disc player only with Magnetar or Revolve in, in the future? Yes. Minus the media playback stuff. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Uh, <clears throat> what features can be on the bigger model? I think it's just really just audio and power supply and upgraded. Yes, AV quality. power supply, yeah. all the, you know, the configuration. <clears throat> You'll see it's, uh, it's uh, one piece of art. Uh, you know, I'm very excited to, uh, you know, uh, to, to, to present it when, uh, when it's, uh, when it, it, it will be unveiled, you know, at uh, the Munich show. And uh, yeah. yes, I'm, I'm pretty sure it will uh, get everyone excited. It's a, <laughs> it's a beautiful. Is game. there, please, let's control the player with a smartphone app. Is yeah, app we, well, out? yes, uh, I wanted to, um, yes, to, to start with this subject because it's uh, currently uh, under, uh, under work. You know, we will do, we will have, you know, some IP control of the player. You know, it's, it's still under, under work. But it will be released pretty soon, you know. Uh, I will uh, make sure of that. And for for the app, uh, why not? Uh, why not? I didn't think of that first. I thought, you know, with the control with uh, RTI Control Four Savant, etc. So it is um, it is on the work. Uh, but 
yes, if it's interesting enough, you know, for people to to have an app, why not? You know, I will um, uh, I will transmit yeah. the the ID to the to my engineers. Yeah, or at least IP control. There's no IP control yet, right? Uh, no, no, no. For now, no. But yeah. it will. There will be an IP control for sure. Okay. For now, it's just IR. Uh, you know, with uh, Logitech or whatever, you can you can control our player. Yeah. But I uh, definitely, we definitely want. You know, as we are into the the, the big leagues. You know, with the with this player, yeah. we want to be able to be controlled by all the third parties uh, brands uh, in in the market. So uh, yes. There will be, and it will be available on our website. Uh, when it's available, it will be for free, of course, and you, you can download the, the the IP control codes when when it's out. Yeah, I think it took Panasonic years for the UB nine hundred to get IP control. If I'm not mistaken for that, I, I yeah. just recently oh, found it, that it, out not that long ago. Yeah, it, it won't take that long. I can guarantee. Yeah. Okay, it will. Uh, we will make sure of that. Right when we talk. Um, what's this question here? Will there be a chance for AK player disc or just digital only? Oh, that's like, yeah. Yeah. I don't, I don't see that no. happening anytime soon. Yeah. yeah I don't, uh, I don't think, you know, 8K for me, it will never be truly for the, um, the end users market, you know, 8K yeah. has definitely some things, you know, in the, in some commercial situation, you know, some sports events. But, uh, you know, it's already difficult to have a 4K movie with, with real 4K, you know, uh, special effects, uh, because everything is so expensive in 4K compared to 2K and 8K, it will, it will, I don't think it will happen soon yeah, anyway. So, yeah. yeah, yeah, I don't think so either. Mm. You know, it's 2K. I was looking at some regular 2K DC, um, DCI, what is it, DCP files? No, DCI. Yeah. And we compared them to the 4K, and I was like, "Wow! Like real cinema 2K files look. They look just as good as 4K. Yes. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty amazing. It, kind of crazy. It was a little actually. more, you know. It was about uh, two two thousand and five hundred pixel wide, you know, and yeah. uh, it was a little bit more than the the commercial uh, uh, yeah. to, to 2K. Yes, I think, and uh, yes, but the you know the the compressed it's. There is no compression on this on this file, so you know yeah. the color, the gamut, everything is uh, is much more high end than the, what we we have on the on the real Blu-ray disc. You know, it's uh, yeah, it's yeah. not the same crazy. at all. I wish we could maybe not just having bigger disc files and less compression on discs. Either two K or four K would be pretty game changing, I think. But it's, um, it's any... still pretty, pretty pretty cool, you know, to have a four K and the quality, yeah. you know. I've been in this business for uh, for more than twenty years now, and uh, yes, I can tell you it's uh, it, it's great to have a UHD at home now. <laughs> yeah, great. Um, what other new things are coming with Magnetar that you have to share? Uh, I guess you know um, I will have some things to share along the months until May. You know, and May will be the the unveil of the the, the new player, but we will have more more announcements to make maybe a little before but maybe at the the munich show uh i still don't know yet but there will be uh more than one players coming from magnetar uh, this year oh okay yes um doesn't okay. yes it can do both actually it can do both uh, na native dsd and you can have the the conversion if you are receiver don't uh, uh, don't accept uh, you know dsd uh, signal Okay, that was great. Well, Raphael, I think we'll just keep yeah. this short, half an hour, right? Um, yeah, so uh, more players coming along the way. I'm excited for that. Maybe yeah. pricier models, maybe more cost-effective models. Uh, it will be different models. I can I can tell okay. you more uh, right yeah. now. But uh, <laughs> believe me, when I can, I will get back to you and uh, your community and uh, let you know. Mm -hmm. But all right, Raphael, uh, thanks, guys, for checking out the podcast today. I will leave these guys up if you guys have any more uh, questions. Drop them in, the, drop them in the, uh, the chat here once this video goes off the air, and I'll be sure to ask Raphael in the next coming podcast. He'll, he'll come join us for sure. Uh, but thanks for watching, guys. We're going to sign off. Thanks, Raphael.
Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Shane, for having us. And uh, yes, looking forward to, uh, to talk with you again. Mm -hmm. okay. All right, guys. We'll see you. Thank you.